Alright guys, my first 2K video with my new mic. Mm, ten times better. Second in the keys. Awesome, let's go against them. Oof. Happy day, I got my new mic. Let's do this. It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Hey, Ernie Johnson here, and I'm joined by Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports. And Oklahoma City is where we'll be going just moments from now as the Thunder will be going up against the Sacramento Kings. And guys, for the Kings, they're not satisfied with the record over the last, last 10 games. Under 500 basketball, just not good enough. Looking to improve tonight. And coming down the home stretch here, Kenny, for the teams that have already locked up playoff spots, what's more important, home court advantage or well-rested players? Ooh, I would say well-rested players because that helps the momentum and it helps you fine-tune some of the issues that you might have had before in the playoffs. All right, guys, let's do this. Run, man, run. So, I'm really excited for the new game to come out this year. I'm just excited. Let's do this. Woo! get better we just suck so bad yeah I'm just not that good at 2k I just have fun with it <laughs> you guys should just roast me in the comments honestly <laughs> when people do that I just it's laugh, an all-western conference it's matchup in today's game is the Kings and now so before I don't mind we get me. well fellas this season thanks so much David I just think it's the door is coming down the stretch here a few teams but clearly clever, out of the playoffs despite their disappointment do, what can suck. they do to build confidence going into next like, year well i'm know. a big believer in that right, adage you, you can't so skip blank, steps blank, blank. and professionalism is required every day regardless of record and so you, you know, i do better my eyes closed. and the thunder with some changes yeah, dj cool. is checked in for stephen adams in his canter comes in DJ. for Patrick patterson and wells is subbed in for andre robertson and the kings will go for a different look here kufus checked in for randall no. bogdanovich comes in for vince carter garrett temple has checked in for healed what and it's fox in for hill on the floor for Sacramento. Bogdanovich out there with it. Willie Cauley Stein. Then it's Garrett bring Temple. It. Then there's Kufus, and it's Fox in at the point. The shot that, by Cauley no, Stein. Westbrook, no, Westbrook, don't good. take my and, and already they've staked out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression oh, George, and controlling the back end. Russell Westbrook with his head on a swivel. He understands where his guys are at all times. Stolen oh, by Westbrook. Here. On the wing, George. He's covered by Bogdanovich. Fox Can with the steal. Outside, Bogdanovich. Passes it to Fox. Stolen by George. Oh. Good job, George. 103 left in the first quarter of the game. What a mighty call, George. Hanter against Coley Stein. Offensive rebound. Outside for George. Hits the three-point bomb. George has got seven. Boy, I love seeing he Cantor distribute like, the basketball. If you're open, this guy this will guy. find you. Here's Temple. No scoring yet from him, but that's Actually, likely that to change. Bogdanovich passes to Coley Stein. Almost. Somebody don't really like that much. 
Just five to shoot. Cauley Stein with the screen for Bogdanovich. Like, you know, you know, you know what like, you know, and what was know. that about? Not a good shot right there. Two seconds separating the shot clock what and game. The heck? And now the fast break. Oh. Fox with the ball. And the foul called on DJ. And the now Thunder foul, going with a whole uh, new group out there. Over. And then for Sacramento. Vince Carter, he's checked he's in for Bogdanovich. Heald comes in for Garrett Temple. And George Hills subbed in for Fox. We've got Wells. Steven Adams is out there with DJ. Block, then though. it's Paul George. And it's Westbrook in at the point. That's the lineup in the game for Oklahoma City. Hill has the open look. Cans the shot from the wing. Hill's got yeah, four this quarter. The George Hill, such an accurate shooter in catch and shoot situations. He's always ready to let it fly. DJ dishes to Westbrook. Screen by Adams. And DJ yeah. gets it to go on the assist by Westbrook. DJ's got the lead up yeah, to 13 now for Oklahoma City. Also, and when you watch Russell Westbrook play, he's one of the most competitive players in the NBA. And with the way he attacks the rim and plays with just no abandon. I mean, this guy is no joke. Uh, absolutely Chicago wills course. himself I mean, and bad. his team to just do things that few oh, others yeah. can and relentless just from the first LBA. quarter to the last whistle. The basket Chicago counts Bulls is are one. Favorite. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it a three-point play. like who you like. I don't care who you like. On the Thunder and so it's the Oklahoma City Thunder up by a dozen here at the end of the quarter. Their strategy has been clear tonight. Work the ball inside, get shots in the paint. Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter. Actually, by who I don't, I actually do care. Like, in a way, I don't like care who you like. But, I mean, I'd be interested in why you, why you like that certain team. And like, as oh, we yeah. begin the second this half, guy, first half wasn't even so close, so. guys. And we'll see if there is a Sacramento yeah. making some changes. Bogdanovich comes like, in like for Zach Randall. I like the logo. And it's Fox like in everything. for Buddy Heal. For Sacramento, like they've like gotten the players, only three you know. of their nine field goal attempts to go down since the end of the third. Pretty cold they, down the stretch. It usually depends on the, floor on the players. For Sacramento. They've got Hill. Carter Not out there always. with Willie Cauley-Stein. And it's Fox. And it's Bogdanovich in at the three slot. Cauley-Stein a scream. Hill kicks to Cauley Stein. Sacramento oh, again missing. Thunder have gone 6 of 13. So just above 46% on their field goal attempts here in the quarter. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. And you can safely say mission accomplished now for the Thunder. This was a Dang team it. performing to its uh, fullest capability. Uh, a, a hugely satisfying win. A, a, a game that not many will soon oh, forget. Right and on the other side, I one that I, like I think most like, will uh, try to forget. And this will make it 41 victories for them on the year. And they're going to bring this season series to an end with a very nice victory here today. These teams spent a lot of time on the floor together this year. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Paul George. You have to love the way that he was closing out on defensive trips. Defense. He would always body up, and it's why he it's ended with so many boards. DJ kicks to Felton. And no. stolen by Coley Stein. And, and really, That's these so are some much. of the toughest calls an official has I, to and make. And I got my ball handling up, too. First free throw is good. What a pickup George Hill is. This guy's such a capable player on both ends. Smart, Dang. intelligent, lightning quick reflexes by the point guard. And so it's Oklahoma City with it. And so the Thunder now can just hold on to the ball. Got a hand on it. No, whatever. We're done. Ugh, this is going to be bad. So no we're problem done. for Oklahoma City as they get the win. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by far tonight. And you got to commend this sort of dominance. It's a great feeling when you play almost a perfect game and to have that crowd be so pumped up. And that'll do it, folks. Yeah, okay, XP, This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in. So long, everyone. 
think we're saving up for some fruit corners now. Oh, no cutscene either. Alright, guys. So, if we win a few more games, we're actually going to uh, probably have a chance of being in the playoffs. We already have a big chance now. Let's beat the Atlanta Hawks. Got to do that. We it's should be the able to 2K beat them, Sports pregame show. Revenge. Do we need Thanks for joining us. The, the NBA on tough, 2K though. Sports rolling right along. Kenny the Jet Smith. Shaquille O'Neal, I'm Ernie Johnson. The regular season starting to wind down. Tonight we'll see the Oklahoma City Thunder playing against the Atlanta Hawks in their house, Phillips Arena. Looking at the Hawks, six wins in their last ten games. They'd like to play even better. Tonight, a chance to add to their win total. And you look at the Hawks. Uh, uh. Is that a hawk? Wow, that's it's not a, a healthy hawk. Okay. Uh, Coach Mike Budenholzer has created an identity and a style of play. All right, guys, let's do this. I'm excited. I want to get to playoffs. And I want the... So we become a free agent. So that gets a chance to, I think, make more money, I guess, maybe. Because, um, depending on who wants me. Hopefully someone wants me. Or maybe if we play on a less all-star team. <laughs> it's not all-star team. It's just, it's a good team. Oh, it's one of those people who wear the glasses on their neck. Like, who wear backwards on their head. I saw that guy. That cool team that we used to play on. I actually don't know how many 2K episodes I have. I want seven on my channel right now, and I've recorded. And that was just that was just the very beginning of the season. It's a road game for the Thunder, and they're facing an interconference matchup in today's game. We're all set ball. to bring you NBA action. This is Kevin Harlan courtside with Greg Anthony play the, play and Brett right, Barry. And the Hawks yeah, will go for a game. different look here. Ilya Sova, he's checked in for Muscala. Mirza Toledovic comes in for Collins. Jared Dudley's checked Hawks. in for Torian Prince. And it's Malcolm Delaney in for Bellinelli. Taking a look at the Thunder, we've got Wells. Grant is out there with Ennis Cantor. Then it's DJ. Then it's Felton in at the point guard. Dang it. And, and, and typically he has the touch to Mixer finish shot, when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. Obviously yeah, some terrific on-ball defenders out there, but Brent, in your estimation, who are some of the best help defenders in the NBA now? Uh, a couple Man. guys come to mind, Kevin. When you say help and they're actually Man, there, score. Jay Crowder does a good job of, of recognizing you know, when the strong side gets broken down and he can come over and help. Certainly Draymond Green does a great job of guarding just about anything for the Golden State Warriors. And, and then maybe you think about some big guys Dream in, in the league. Timofey Mozgov in the oh, right position man. most of the time. Hassan Whiteside uh, for Miami. So it, they come in all shapes and sizes, Kev. The biggest thing they contribute is their communication skills catch up. on the backside. Atlanta making a switch here. Bazemore is checked in. Now here's Wells. Wells He's covered open. closely. He kicks to DJ. Lays it up and yeah. banks it in. DJ's got his first basket. Now he's a smooth operator. Go DJ, yeah. Play, and DJ making the most of the high percentage shot in tight. DJ can do 50 this. seconds left in the first quarter. They set the pick. DJ. The three from Dudley drains it from beyond wow. the arc. And it's a tie Please ball game. Don't win. And they can't allow him too many open looks I like that. that that's way. just inviting trouble. There's a screen by Cantor. Cantor. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank back. you, Cantor. Like when his motor is running and he's playing with high levels of energy, Cantor is a monster on I the offensive glass. The bucket, the now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Delaney, the pass to Toledo. Like he dishes it to Baseman. He used that pick to perfection. Oh, that oh, is no, a tough is. shot. 
For Oklahoma Come City, away. they've gone Hawks. 8 of 15 from the field, shooting above 50% here tonight. Felton kicks to DJ. Back to Felton. Pass to DJ. Off target from the baseline. Dudley. No. It's Don't make not going to okay, go for him. Some great action here early as we end the first quarter. Clark in a tie. Stay with us as we get set to bring you the second quarter right after this. Ugh. Look at this, though. And power forward Patrick Patterson. Getting back. No, I think my three years at Kentucky, you know. Hopefully when I get subbed back. Tie game in oh. Atlanta. Stay with us, folks. We'll get back. I don't really want to skip. Three, we might lose. will go for a different oh, look never mind. here. Ilya Sova, he's checked in for Mike Muscala. Bradley comes in for Torian Prince. Kent Bazemore's checked in for Marco Bellinelli. And it's Malcolm Delaney in for Dennis Schroeder. And a new group getting ready for Oklahoma City. DJ is checked in for Adams. Grant comes in for Patrick Patterson. McDermott's checked in for George. And Abrina yeah. subbed in for Andre Robertson. Chris so Naldi. the Thunder Five right now, Grant is out there with McDermott. Then there's Russell Westbrook. Then it's DJ, and it's Abrinas in at the two. Yes, and, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a ahead. total mismatch and a they true show up in the of strength <laughs> for the Thunder. And it may be a comfortable win for him, but, you know, they had to weather a few oh, storms along the way, and that's all part of the story. Yeah, Kevin, this was by no means like the runaway that it might appear seconds. to be. It was a scrappy performance, though, all the way through. And so they'll be advancing their win total to 42 games. Important with this win, they split the season series Aww. at a game apiece and also avoid the sweep, and that has to be a relief. And you know, no. looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all around game for Russell Westbrook. And you have to love so, the so effort he put what? forth on the glass, he played with a fire no one else could match as he chased down those rebounds. See? Uh, DJ Are wants to be at the center of everything serious? that this team does, whether it's behind the tables or on the court. This guy's itching for a scratch. They set the screen. Don't give me both of them. Elias Ova, a screen. Oh. Shot clock at five. Off the screen. And that one hits back iron. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. And good yeah. at that time. Running up the score showing no mercy well you want to close the no door on any that type of comeback effort right. this has been a vault ka -ching. <laughs> you're right no issues on that one good work all okay, around we're, we're done we're done here give it to me from deep three-point range he can't oh. get it to go <laughs> so no so problem close. for oklahoma city it. as they get the win this one was over well before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something to get it. So close. Could it be the Clippers? I mean, they just rolled. Could give me voice cracks? They it really easy. What an efficient performance. Yeah, we did it. We're winning. 12 games left, guys. All right, guys. Let's kick some raptor butt. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that. It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Hello, basketball fans. I'm Ernie Johnson, welcoming you to 2K Sports. I'm here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Tonight, we'll see the Toronto Raptors as they play against the Oklahoma City Thunder. Checking out Oklahoma City. They've got an opportunity tonight to sweep the season series two wins to none. The coaching staff commented that they feel confident coming into this one. And you talk about the Oklahoma City Thunder. How about that fan base, guys? Some of the most rabid, supportive fans in the league. That place is loud. One of the best home court advantages in the league. The bond between the team and the city is pretty impressive. I missed that. I know you missed that at Clutch City, Kenny. Oh, I miss it, man. It's Thunder Mania. It's like it was.
All right, guys. Hmm. I'm getting addicted to this game, guys. I have a problem. Help me. Okay. I've seen people with 100 hours in this game. It hasn't been out for two weeks. Freaking hours in this game already. Those are the guys that are 99 overall in two seconds. It's like, what level is your character? Oh, 99 overall. I don't seem higher than 90. I like how it's purple, so you really notice. You really stand out. Yeah, when you're 99 overall, you can upgrade all your badges, so. Again, so. I have one maxed out silver. It's, it's from deep range. It's like shots from deep range. So eventually I'll probably. Shoot three throws. Good. Wish it worked better in the game. But maybe I just do it too fast in games. That might be my problem. Oh. The crowd is assembled at and as things. Thank you. Great stuff, DA. Coach Casey definitely gets the best out of his guys. You can tell they love Come playing on. for it. Get a nice clean and game, basketball's huh? popularity in Canada, Doris, is skyrocketing. And though it would be... Some changes for Toronto. Oh, we're tied Nogueira, up. he's checked in for Jonas Valanciunas. Pachulia comes in for Serge Ibaka. Nice and it's Powell in for C.J. Miles. So for Oklahoma City right now, oh, Ennis Cantor is out there with like D.J. Then there's Wells. Then there's, they they then there's Grant. Then it's Felton like in at the point guard. There is so much talk about offense. How do you slow some of these guys down defensively? I mean, one way is to draw charges, but in thinking of that, who do you oh, think yeah, is the best at doing that these days? You know, Kevin, it can be a lost art in the game of basketball on any number of levels. You have to be willing to absorb contact, and sometimes from guys much Dang bigger it. than well, yourself. So much. some of the names that come to mind for me, Marcus Smart no with lead, the Boston so Celtics, Kemba Walker, always the smallest guy on the floor, is never afraid to give up his body from the big guys. I'd probably say Maurice Spates or oh, DeMarcus Cousins. Both are willing to see that like contact and uh, try to gain an advantage going the other direction. Yeah, they know they're going to take a hit, and they willingly take the hit for the bet betterment of the team. Right. Nothing Man. going down low on the shot from DJ. Toronto's gone. One of three oh, from shot, beyond the arc no, so far in the game. And there's Nogueira on the assist from DeRozan. Nogueira. Nogueira's got his first two points. Well, guys, really good court vision, allowing DeRozan to make that pass. You know, he sees the play developing way in advance. Cantor against Pachulia. Cantor kicks to DJ. Nogueira with the steal. Fast break Toronto. Here's Powell and the dunk by Powell. And that's how to make an impact with defense. Once the steal is made, you know they're going to be scattered. Felton the pass to DJ. And Pachulia pulls it down. Boy, that's exactly how you have to play defense when he's driving the lane. You cannot give him any space. Right dishes to DeRozan. And Grant oh, yeah. sends it back. Pachulia. And he recovers it. Clock is at three. And they had their chances. Two offensive rebounds. But they still oh, come out. up empty. Ooh, that's good. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. No. Now the Raptors Son moving it up. Here's Wright. And finished off by Wright. And the steal then right into the fast break. Great awareness. Yes, intercepted the ball in stride. Turnovers like this no. are devastating no. to the opposition. And that replay brought to us by Under Armour. Another Unleash Chaos moment. One of the more exciting plays in basketball. Oklahoma City shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And their success rate on the season, right around 77%. Listen, we Yay. know DJ is a guy who understands pressure, right? So there's always this sense of calm when he's at the free throw line. Here's Powell. It's tipped. Yay. And no. they'll keep possession. He knocks it down. But wait a minute. The officials are getting together. They may want to review this one. And indeed, they're going to look at it again. They need to be certain he beat the buzzer.
And even though... And so it's the Toronto Raptors with their lead standing at 6.0 oh. at the end of the quarter. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. Oh, so many of their points coming right at the rim. And we'll be back with you shortly. Sometimes this takes a while to load. Okay, we're good now. It takes a second to load, usually. Sometimes, yeah, it does that. Like, it's weird. And Serge Ibaka, becoming known for his shooting ability now. He trusts you every time he pumps the ball. Well, it, it, and the first half oh, is man. now in the books. We're still Toronto up by ahead, six. leading. None of us are allowing each other to score. It's good, though. Keeps the distance in between our scores. Good. Some office shots in there. Good. So a close game sees Oklahoma City taking this one. And they. Oh, we took it. We that probably didn't anticipate that this one would be that close down the wire. But give them credit. They were able to regroup in that overtime. Uh, two points. Ew. <laughs> you need to get some other stuff up, guys. Let's get three pointing up. We can't. Mid range actually might be the better idea. Uh, yeah. But we'll start doing that after we get the three pointer up. I know. I'm probably pretty bad at upgrading stats, but whatever. Alright, guys. So today we're going to. Uh, no, I think I'm doing mod or something. Uh, we're going to Celtics. So let's do this. It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Hello, basketball fans. I'm Ernie Johnson, welcoming you to 2K Sports. I'm here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Tonight, we'll see the Boston Celtics playing against the Oklahoma City Thunder. A lot of W's recently for this Oklahoma City team. They've got an opportunity tonight to sweep the season series two wins to none. The coaching staff commented that they feel confident coming into this one. This team has so many weapons late in games, but perhaps the biggest of them all is Kyrie Irving. Shaq, you view Kyrie as the most clutch player in the NBA right now? I wouldn't say the most clutch, Ernie, but his biggest shot was his three in the 2016 Finals. I think it cemented him as, as one of the most. Yeah. 2K Sports Celtics. welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Once he left the Cavs, they're like not doing as well, and the Celtics are just doing awesome. So he's just like an amazing player. He's just showing, it's like trying to show him up. It's funny. I don't know. I think that's kind of funny. Hmm. Let's do this. So close to the upgrade. Three three pointers are gonna be like nothing to us once we get there. <laughs> I'm just, just gonna just gonna throw them in like instantly. Hmm. I'm making buckets every time. This is ten more games. This is our tenth this is game. Carry how close we get to it. They've never done it for us. It's taking a while. It's the home of the. And now, before we. A win score. Okay, Kevin. Not too Thank bad. you, David. Not Kevin, um, of all the people you've faced, who is the toughest guy for you right, to score to against go. down ready low? Go. We'll pick that geography. <laughs> who is the toughest to score against down there? Listen, I know. And the Thunder with some changes. Steven Adams comes in for Ennis Canton. And DJ subbed in for Patterson. Kevin, when you entered the draft, no player had made the jump from high school to the NBA in 20 years. And 
what were your emotions when your name was called number five overall? Oh, man, I remember that. It was so 17 years old. 17, just turning 18 at the time. I was in like a whirlwind, to be honest. Uh, a lot of people don't know. It's a lot of stuff that goes up into the draft. You know, things that I wasn't aware of. You're training twice a day. You know, you're trying to get ready for uh, the combine. You're trying to get ready for uh, pre-draft. You got to do workouts. This is all new to me. On top of still going to high school, trying to, you know, graduate and stuff. So I figured it out. I hustled and I bustled and I, I, I juggled a bunch of different things. But once your name is called, it's almost like the culmination. It all comes together. It's a special moment for just you and your family and your loved ones and ones around you. And um, when my name was yeah. called, it felt like the world had stopped and everything was going very slow. So for Oklahoma City right now, Westbrook and Robertson are the backcourt pair. EJ out there with Paul George. And it's Adams and at the pivot spot, manning yeah. the middle. Yeah. Kevin, one of the biggest moments of your career, the 2008 championship with the okay. Boston Celtics. Talk about the camaraderie among that oh, group of yeah. players. You know, Kev, I can tell right away uh, that we had something special getting together cool. right in George. September, right before the year started. We started working out together. We started sharing concepts and how we saw the game. Uh, right away, I can tell that the appetite was there. Uh, one through 15 guys. Uh, it was very rare that you was you're able to get that many guys in that early. As uh, soon as Danny, you know, signed guys, we were in, we were lifting, we was just, you know, around each other, mm -hmm. understanding each other, you know, playing a lot, we was playing a lot. Then, fortunately, we was able to go off to Rome that year. Rome was a good distraction for us because we had to lean one on one another. To bond a little bit. Seriously, because, yeah. you know, none of us spoke Italian. You yeah. know, we wanted to go somewhere. We was always three, four deep, and... No one was asking and no one was telling us to be with each other. We were just naturally being with each other so much that whenever you saw us to the restaurants, nine, ten of us, that carried over to practice. Then we got two teams that are very competitive. Doc's letting us be who we want to be and he's letting us play with passion and our practices are over the top aggressive and to the point where it's too competitive to where he has to come in and separates us and, you know, oh, take the balls and, and cut the lights out and get us out of here yeah. to the point where he just lets us go. Now we start bringing concepts to him. He start trusting our IQs. Now we start putting a couple of things on defense. Thibodeau is in there. He's implementing stuff. Another foul. I mean, great. this flow is going like this. You don't know that you're going to win it all, but you know you're on the, on the waves of something special. Oh, yeah. And that's how that felt. Oklahoma City shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Yeah. I like the attitude of DJ. He's a quiet player who makes his presence felt on both ends of the court. Oklahoma City comes into this one after the win against Toronto. You want to talk about a fantastic finish. That game had a little bit of everything and then a little bit of extra in overtime. So it was a great, great win. Well, yeah, Morris is just a tremendous shooter. He has great touch from beyond the arc. Felton kicks to Grant. Man. And DJ yeah. gets it to go on the assist by Grant. Eight points for DJ. Boston's gone two of four from beyond the arc to start the game. Let's do this. The feed now to Brown. That's how you play, guys. Morris outside. Off the pick. And it falls Dang. over the rim and in. Morris has got seven points in the game. Huh. When Morris gets it down in the paint, he's deadly, using his big arms to get these shots up and in. And a foul call oh, on the shot. Yeah. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. And you know what? You allow a guy to oh, get yeah. right to the rim like that. Point. That's your only option. And both yeah. free throws good for DJ. DJ has been leading the charge for the Oklahoma City Thunder. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. We come back right after this. Awesome. That was good. That was some good points. And, and we're through the first half of basketball here and what's oh, been a good him. one. We gotta get back in and help the team. All right, David, thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. Morris is checked in oh, for the Celtics. Brown comes though. in for Tatum. As as and a new group in here for the Thunder. DJ is checked in for Cantor. McDermott comes in for Patrick Patterson. Oh, Alex Sabrinas is checked in for Andre Robertson. And it's Felton in for Russell Westbrook. 
Yeah, clearly he had nice. an established position there. Some changes for Boston. Aaron Baines, he's checked in for Horford. Oh, yeah, and it's Larkin in for Irving. Smart and Brown outside on the wings. <laughs> Aaron Baines out there with Morris. And it's Larkin in at the one. That's who's in the game for the Celtics. Here's Smart. Here's Baines. Oh. Takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the layup. Defensive rebounding, just such a crucial part of the game. I, I tell you what, it's like football. Having a, a, a third and 13 Damn. and them running up the gut. Uh, it, it just frustrates the defense. You have to hate giving up second chance points. It's demoralizing. After basically, oh, I mean, my. you had to stop. Nice shot by Smart. And, and, and that's how you build confidence in your shot. Smart able to set his feet off the catch and shoot. Felton dishes to DJ. The layup off target. Baines. No good. So it's Oklahoma City picking up the win. A narrow win under difficult circumstances, Greg, as the visiting team. It really was, but that didn't seem to bother him. I mean... saying thanks for watching we'll see you next time have a great evening yeah we did it